Hey, Brad, hope you're doing well. And thank you for, for talking to us. Um, I know kind of you're in a unique situation as the only guy that joined the team mid season, just what were kind of your overall impressions of the experience in the season as a whole? Um, I know, given the fact that I know you guys didn't finish necessarily the way you wanted to last night in Indiana. Oh, um, I think it was a great season. You know, um, before I even came here, you know, obviously I hit a few of the guys up that I know and just was like, you know, it's fun watching you guys. And then uh, coming uh, to the team, you know, that's one of the first thing I told JB, you know, I appreciate the opportunity here. You know, um, I was a fan of you guys from afar and, it's pretty cool to join the team. And, um, you know, it was a tough one, you know, especially the way we lost. Uh, nobody wanted to lose like that in the closeout game. And, um, but, you know, overall, great season. Uh, fought through a lot of adversity. You know, guys, you know, with the protocols and just like a bunch of injuries at, you know, just at the wrong time, you know. So, but overall, I think it was a good season. Not the way we wanted to end, uh, but the organization is definitely going in the right direction. You mentioned that it looked like a fun team to play on. Did it live up to that expectation you had from watching it when you were in Golden State to then playing with it? Was it kind of what you expected from a playing standpoint? Oh, most definitely. You know, uh, just getting here, just, you know, guys feeding off each other, uh, just the energy that uh, the young guys were to the gym every day for practice or, you know, the warm-ups, wherever, wherever that may be, you know, just in the locker room. You know, it just was fun to be around. Thank you. Rod? Hey, Brad, it seemed like you took LaMelo under your wing a little bit um, when you got here. I mean, just what are your impressions of him now that you had a little bit of time to play with him? And just what do you um, think as a veteran that he has to improve on to become a player he should become in this league eventually? Oh, man, he's a special player, special kid. You know, um, he's definitely one of the guys that always like lights up the room when he comes in. Um, but, you know, I just was, you know, in his area as much as I can, you know, but not trying to step on his toes. Whenever I seen something or uh, felt like the team needed something at the moment, I would just tell him. Um, but, you know, he, he's special. He knows what he's doing out there. You know, um, obviously it was, it was a long season for him as a 19-year-old, just uh, to have the keys to the team as a point guard right away is always tough in his league. Um, but, you know, it's a part of the journey. You know, everybody has the ups and downs, even uh, some older guys in his league. And, uh, you know, he, he just – Got to keep going where he's going. You know, I mean, probably watch some film with some of the coaches over the summer and just uh, learn how to uh, control the game a little bit more. But, you know, I'm happy with his game. I like the, what he does. Uh, but, you know, everybody has room for growth. Will? Hey, Brad. Um, as far as just your own season, you were one of the few guys who actually got moved during kind of when the pandemic was kind of at its height. What was unique and, and what was hardest about kind of, you know, transitioning cities, transitioning teams during the pandemic as far as just the things that kind of people take for granted? Uh, the unique thing about the whole thing was, you know, me just getting a fresh start. You know, obviously uh, things didn't go as planned and go to state for me. You know, um, a lot of ups and downs over there with that uh, organization. But, you know, uh, very appreciative of my opportunity there and here, you know. Um, but, you know, it's just it's a part of the grind. You know, every season is not going to go – uh, the way you plan to be, you know, just got to get back to the drawing board, get back in the gym and, uh, you know, work on some things that I need to improve on. Uh, but, you know, uh, just uh, to get a fresh start, to come over here with some good energy was great. Well, what's unique about this organization compared to the other places you've been? Uh, everyone is unique in their own. You know, obviously, you know, it was things in Boston I really loved, things in Golden State I really loved. And uh, here, you know, just – Things are really good. You know, um, I talked to a few other people in the staff uh, in the training room and just told them, you know, they went the way they handled things. Um, most organizations don't do it the way they do. Um, so, you know, that was pretty cool to see. And uh, it just shows where this organization is headed. You know, it's headed in the right direction. I got the right people in charge and, you know, got the right young pieces around, you know. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do in the offseason. Uh, but I think uh, the future is definitely bright for the Charlotte Hornets. We'll wrap it up with Richard. Uh, Richard Walker, CarolinaSportsHub.com. Uh, Brad, you, you you obviously were coming from a different place. This team felt like nobody thought they had a chance to go to the playoffs when the year started. What was your impression of them before you came here? Uh, that they, they was going to challenge uh, all the teams in the NBA, all the top teams. And, uh, you know, then uh, the injuries come in and uh, – 
the health and safety protocols. And, you know, it's in a season like this one, you know, it would have been better if it happened early on, you know, uh, but to our luck, it happened at the wrong time. And, you know, we lost some games we should have won. And, you know, who knows what would have happened if we was fully healthy and clicking at the right time. Um, but, you know, the team started off great. You know, I think when I got here, there's a fourth place in the East. And, uh, you know, then things just didn't go our, our way and we fell out. But, you know, overall, you know, I was happy with my time here. And the, what, two months I was here, a month and a half or so.